when do you, for example, think I would be allowed oh. just riding up and down instead of yeah. Morning, today's the day I'm gonna get my knees in braces and then I'm gonna have perfect two braces around my knees to get some uh, support. Hopefully I'll be better soon. Kimochi, back again with the dream team. We are on our way to measure my braces. Hopefully I won't feel like a robot because I'm gonna get them on both knees. <laughs> Let's see how it feels and looks after that. Uh, basically to keep your patella in a good position and a little bit of stability here and that's it. All right. Yeah. Like worse, huh? yeah. yeah. He uh, told me I get small braces and then I can maybe flex like more than I thought. And the ACL is for sure not completely ripped, so that is also great, so no surgery. And now we have two, three months in a brace. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Do I need to sleep with this? Yeah. And that left foot of yours, are you very hesitant to put weight on? You're sort of dragging your foot a little bit. Yeah, because the stretching is painful for me. Yeah, if we make this too loose, then the other thing is your patella, of course, can wobble around because we don't want that to extend a little bit. Do you feel more confident without the crutches? No, I feel more no. confident without the braces. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> mm, now, I cannot go like this a lot. To limit this a little bit, you don't want to go into foot into that, back into the injury zone. Yeah. Okay. okay, cool. Thanks a lot. That's us. Good morning, guys. I am on my way to the Fisio with my beautiful braces. And it's my first time driving as well, and it feels pretty good. So I'm gonna see what the Fisio is gonna say. And how much time does it normally cost for bone bruising to completely heal? It can take up to four months, but in your case, it, it, you'll be going much more. How does it feel there? Stiff. Okay, so just relax. I don't want you to do this at home. I just want to see for myself. Yeah. That it okay? Yeah. I feel more in. But that's where I always feel. Yeah. Feel good. Oh. Be careful not to over straighten, you must control it. So no shaking and no pain. This is for the quads. Just because you want, you want the balance, if the outer one is too strong, it pulls the kneecap across. And this, remember I said, is the main stabilizer of your kneecap. Oh, that's now, a different one. When it does that, you've got to contract. Ah. We'll put it down a little. <laughs> Hold it up there. Keep it there. You have a good anatomy case. You can see all the tendons. <laughs> yeah, so the left knee is the front and back of the tibia, and this knee is a little bit on the femur, and then at the back of the... You're now on 19? Yeah. And the other leg was on 6. Like this one here, I almost don't even feel. This one was reacting much quicker. Oh, so it's better if it reacts quicker? Yeah. It just means it's connected to the brain quicker. When do you, for example, think I would be allowed oh. just riding up and down instead of Look, tricks? Um, if you're at six weeks, yeah. are completely stable in terms of your of your PCL, mm -hmm. your posterolateral corner. So when yeah. you push the leg like that, it, there's no movement. Mm -hmm. Then you can get going quickly. All right, guys, little heads up from my side. You could see in the first week I had problems with just walking with braces and crutches. It took me a couple of days to get used to those braces because that made me very stiff in the beginning. After 10 days, I went to the physio and the swelling was already way better than the first week. Uh, mobility is better. The swelling is way less. And um, I also got way more excited and more hope I can do 
a lot of exercises now i can be in the gym on the bike a lot so that's all very good i hope it is a bit clear and in the next vlog i will be back with some more exercises and training